Hi, I'm Rabbi Leah Sternberg, the Assistant Rabbi at Congregation B'nai Jeshurun in Short Hills. In this week's Parsha, Ki Tetze, we're nearing the end of Deuteronomy, and Moses is continuing his extended speech to the people of Israel. He relays 74 commandments this week from God that instruct morals and values for how to conduct their society. These laws span far and wide as they are both criminal and civil, pertain to commerce, and instruct on relationships with each other, with strangers, with the land, and with God. Many of the commandments in this Parsha have to do with those who, not, who do not come from a place of power or of privilege. Many of the laws focus on animals, women, children, the stranger, the widow, and the poor. But in the midst of this, in the third verse of Deuteronomy chapter 22, the text explains that if you find another person's sheep or ox wandering and lost, then you must not remain indifferent, which Rashi translates to you must not hide yourself or keep your eyes closed, ensuring that we are commanded to go out of our way to return the animal to the owner or care for it until the owner is found. And the limits of this don't just stop with another person's livestock. Within this wide range of laws, the Parsha gives us that guide us in moments of needing to make ethical and moral decisions. And given that so many of these laws in this Parsha are regarding our relationships with those who don't come from a place of power, we learn an important lesson in this verse, that we're commanded not to remain indifferent when others are in moments of need. In upholding the sacred covenant with God, we have an obligation to help the stranger and our neighbor whether that be passing by someone who needs a hand on the street or coming to the side of someone in our own family. It's necessary to look outward, to actively notice and understand who's in the world around us, to walk with our eyes wide open, engaging and caring with those in this world to better the lives of each and every member of our community.